So this over here, this is the uh, Auburn University Food Bank Garden. Yeah, it was started back a number of years ago by Dr. Beth Gertal in Crop Soil and Environmental Sciences. Um, and Dr. Gertal and Dr. David Weaver, they're my two co-advisors um, in the department for my PhD research. And over the last couple of years, she's allowed me to basically take back um, operating the garden which has sat idle for several years, um, for probably five or six years, I would think. And so over the last couple of years, we've sort of built this and, uh, you know, the goal of this whole, the whole operation is to provide food to the uh, East Alabama Food Bank and to, uh, you know, then they, in turn, they provide it to like the community market in Opelika and some other um, civic organizations. They sort of distribute, they prepare meals and use the food from here to, uh, to feed people that, that need it. This, um, this, the project here has really nothing to do with research. Um, this project is strictly to provide fresh fruits and vegetables for the, uh, you know, the people in need in this uh, Lee County community. Well, I've come at sporadic times. Um, when I started, when I started working for Dr. Gertal, uh, I met Zach and came out here. And at first I didn't know what the garden was for. I was like, okay, it's a giant community garden. I thought everyone kind of came and pitched in and they just took it home. And then I found out that it was for the food bank and they were doing this so people that didn't have could. And it, really blew my mind. Um, Zach works super hard out here and he and Dr. Gertal have been really great and really great inspiration and they've done a lot of really good work and fed a lot of people. We have uh, okra, we have green beans, we have a lot of tomato plants, you know, uh, we've got, you know, mostly just your typical red slicing type tomato. Uh, we've got, you know, bell peppers, eggplants, um, we've got some jalapeno peppers, yellow squash, zucchini squash, and cucumbers and a few melons stuck on the end. Um, all, you know, the price is oftentimes uh, makes affording these, you know, fresh produce not an option for some people. So that's the idea behind this is to be able to supply some things that otherwise wouldn't be part of their diet. Makes me really happy. It makes me happy to see that there's this much out here for other people. Just people looking out for their community and that's fantastic.